Hello, good-looking people, as well as, that's right, people who look good. My name is Mark Major. This is the Action Figure Atorium. And some of you who have watched this show for a while have probably wondered about um, why a show called Action Figure Atorium rarely has any action figures on it. And um, I agree, I agree. And so I've decided that each episode now, I'm going to just have a uh, another cam set up that I'm going to cut to aimed at some part of the studio where there are action figures and for this first one I think we're going to go over to my uh, my little workbench my paint bench there it is just to show you all my paints and glues and figures I'm working on there to give you uh, some insight of what an atorium might or might not look like anyways I think we've seen enough of that um, today's episode is called uh, catch and uh, release this is a show in which I give back to people who wish to collect toys um, by taking stuff from my collection and putting it on eBay for what I would describe as a reasonable price. I take 10 items per month and uh, promote them on the show and make them available for you, the, um, the uh, astute viewer who likes to see cool things from cool people's collections now available for the masses. And so I want everybody to uh, stick around and, uh, you know, strap on the leather for this. So let's get ready to uh, cut over to my desktop view. Here we go. And uh, this is a uh, honorable mention. I talked about this a couple months ago. I have two of these. They're about nine inches, eight to nine inches. Um, they're called Famous Covers, Marvel Famous Cover Series. They take a famous cover and they make an action figure on it. This is uh, The Storm with a uh, uh, the in front of it. I, I believe Storm is known as the Storm. I don't know. I, that's how I think of her. Anyways, I have two of these, and uh, I mentioned that they were going out for sale. It is now live, and um, some are, uh, one's a little better condition than the other, and um, so, you know, priced accordingly. This one is $15. It's got a little bit of uh, dirt on the uh, outfit also a little bit of the vinyl on the boots have been peeled off but you know some people just use these things for uh you know for kit bashing platforms so that's an honorable mention okay let's get into the 10 items that we're going to be putting up for sale on ebay and if you didn't know my ebay username is coolbots sorry this is um blocking me but uh you can find Coolbots with a Z on eBay and follow along, and that way you can see which auctions I'm doing. Also, second thing, these are all Dutch auctions. So when I put up a buy it now for some amount of money, let's say $20, and nobody cares, which, you know, a lot of this stuff, 20 bucks might be too much, don't worry. Um, every week or, you know, two weeks or so, I drop the price a dollar, a couple bucks until eventually, that's right, folks ends up at your place and uh, last thing is if you actually watch the show for any reason and you buy something from me let me know in the transaction on ebay that you watch the show and i'll make sure that you get a very special tchotchke now this batmobile here is uh made by hasbro imaginex and um i think imaginex is going to be a sleeper brand that toy collectors are going to look for down the road it's a kind of thing like lego or playmobile where people really like the play sets or um or the figures that go with a, a particular like vehicle that kind of thing it's it's very much set driven versus character driven and um you're gonna see people at some points have a kind of a collector's renaissance with imagine x and when that happens they're gonna look for stuff like this this is a batmobile that fits two imagine x guys but also it has a button that has light up headlights little leds and there is a weapon in the back. It flips up and it shoots a disc. It's a little spring-loaded thing. $10 for this. And here's the good news, people. I have not one but two of these. And so if one sells, another one will take its place. Let's move on, shall we? Who doesn't love Playmobil? Now, Playmobil bus. The top comes off. I am missing some extra things like the door and the stop sign. 
Uh, the lights work and the little button on top makes them flash back and forth. So if you're someone who does action figure photography and you're looking for some kind of background noise, something to just put in there, um, a 3.75 guy is a little big for this. A, uh, a mini mates figure is just a little bit small, but if you if you hedge it in the background just enough, you can make most four inch and six guy six inch characters work with this. If you're just looking for some photography, if you collect Playmobil and you don't have a bus yet, we'll buy this sixteen dollars. And let me tell you something, it could be less. You let me know. Let's move on to more Playmobil. This is kind of a uh, package, a couple of small cars together, make it cool. A little smart car on the right, little kind of a, a sporty sort of Volkswagen convertible on the left, both in great condition. These are things people need. I think I got this up for $20. Again, I always do free shipping. You know why? Because um, if you offer free shipping, people in the uh, where they give you the feedback, they can't, they can't bark about the shipping. It's taken away from them. So uh, free shipping, 20 bucks. You need this at your house. I'll make sure you get it. You let me know you watch the show. This one will come with a very special Playmobil tcho tchotchke. I'm serious about that. I got enough Playmobil tchotchkes to, uh, to coat the earth. Okay. Does anyone remember the show Babylon, Babylon 5? You don't have to necessarily remember it per se, but it would help when looking at this because otherwise you'll just think that this is some kind of weird Star Trek loser but this is some character from babylon 5 he's some kind of ambassador his name is like good good gar good something with a g and an apostrophe don't matter i'm not a fan of the show but i did manage to rescue this from a thrift store and that is why it is at ten dollars if you think about the shipping included ten dollars for this guy you could just take the clothes and put them on a more interesting character think about that people speaking about uh you know clothes on interesting characters this is going to be a tough sell i agree because this is an Ashton uh, Drake doll, wedding doll, uh, about 11 inches, so it's almost the 1-6 scale. Um, but here's what you do. If you're a person who's got any of these, um, any of these like Psy Girls or like Fisons or, um, you know, the Triad Toys, female 1-6 action figures, you buy this, you, because um, she's got like porcelain head and porcelain arms and it's sort of like puffy doll inside and so it's not a real figure but you steal the wedding dress from this character and you put it on one of your good action figures and of course you give them guns. You give a, you make a chick with a, bra, with a bride's dress and you give her a machine gun and that's a hit, people. And this dress could be yours for $20. Um, I think that's not bad, personally. Now, we're uh, just about to the end. The finish of today's catch and release is going to be amazing. I hope people are as excited about it as I am. Um, this is kind of a clearing of crap. I'm not sure how I got these guys, but they're a, a ripoff of Lego called Make It Blocks. But there's a five pack of the aliens and they look terrible. And then there's also this um, uh, five pack of sort of like uh, Galactic Force uh, astronauts. I would describe as also terrible. But, you know, if you're looking for just a whole bunch of cheap cheese ball uh, Lego figures, these could be your dogs. $10 gets both. We're going to move on now. Schleich. Schleich is a company that makes kind of an expensive high-end figurine. They look rather nice, and um, people collect them. People like this stuff. People think it's cool. This is a group of uh, soldiers with the blue-yellow uh, coat of arms and a lion on it, and then there's also one extra sort of a, a knight or a king, but I do not have the horse for the guy. I do not have the horse uh, this one's going to start at $50 for all five. I think I have a best offer up. Pretty sure I'll take a lot less. If you need Schleich Knights for any of your diorama figure kind of stuff, these are your dogs. They actually look really cool. And to get the guy with the swing and the sword, that's kind of a cool thing. All right. Almost near the end. Teased this before. Um, this went live last night, this uh, Rodan from, uh, I think it's Godzilla versus something Battle of Monsters, Rodan 2-pack. Anyways, he sold out in a night, this guy. However, good news. Turns out, turns out I have two of them. So after this one ships, I'm going to relist this. I put them at $15. Why? Because they're going for like $25 five bucks and I just want people to get this and it's a Rodan and take it. 
Um, so I think I'm going to do it also at another $15. And if it goes, it goes. It could be you. Okay. So the last thing that we are going to be um, uh, putting up for sale is in my hands here. It is this giant uh, Hellboy figure made by Mezco. And uh, you can see he's got the cool leather jacket and he's got the, the leather belt and he's got the gun and he's got this cool little rosemary with the crucifix on it. I'm throwing in the sword because I have a giant sword and it doesn't go to anybody. Um, this figure, unfortunately, suffers from a busted chest ball uh, joint. And so if you wanted to pose him, you're either going to take it apart and fix that somehow through drilling it and attaching it. Um, or else use some kind of putty. Um, or else what I do is I just move it and it stays there. It's not great, but it works if you're just trying to pose them. Anyways, these go for a lot of money, it turns out. Who knew? Um, I bought it with the busted ball joint just because I figured I could make it work. But you know what? There's a lot of cool stuff coming out. And uh, wouldn't it be great if somebody who loves Hellboy and loves these Me Mezco guys could get one of these on the cheap? So we're going to put this guy up, buy it now, $99, uh, free shipping, directly from my heart to you. And you know what? I may have a Hellboy comic that just comes with it. Just It's just in the box. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. It's going to be a lot of fun. But those are the items for the um, March Catch and Release edition. Uh, thanks to everybody who, of course, made it this far into the, uh, into the episode. And, uh, you know, as always, people, stay charged. <laughs>